this one we need for some new shocks. Look at that. This one looks a lot newer. It's clearly been replaced. This one's bushings. I put Tinky inside. Seen better days. This rear end. We need to extend it with the axle back. So we can fit that V-twin. Problem is, I didn't get this exact tubing. I didn't measure it first, and I should have. Oh, so we're gonna have to do something crafty because I don't feel like driving an hour one way to go get more steel that costs a fortune right now. So what I'm thinking we'll do is we'll just add in a one and a half inch from the inside rails. We'll run it down. At some point, cut these, move them back, roll those back to the other tubing. My thing is this. And how it compares to this axle. Um, so even if I did put it in there, my gear is almost right on top, and it's not gonna fix, it's gonna hit the back of the seat right there. So, what I think we do, maybe we just play it safe, we'll extend it probably 12 inches. Hey baby, what are you doing? What's wrong? Come here. I won't do anything scary. Oh. That's got your metal. Oh. See the metal? Look. Here, you want to try and balance? Look, watch it like this. Look. You want to balance? Oh, okay. Here, give me your hand. I'll help you. Hop up. Step. Step again. Oh, you're balancing. Help me measure? Like this. You take one end and you put it right here, and then look, look, you walk it down this way. And then, hmm, you need to make a mark. Can you make a mark on 60? Like this. You make a mark. You want to make a mark? Sure. Alright, put up. Put a mark on 48. Find 48. Keep 48. Make a mark. No, this is 48. You know, make a mark on the on the metal. There you go. 48. You make a mark on 10. Make a mark on 10 right here. On the metal. On the metal. The cost of building something cool.
All right, moment of truth. See if these engine mounts hold. Oh boy, she's floating.